If they'd been taking bets when the Rothmans International Car Rally started from Auckland last Saturday, you'd have put your money on one of three men. Ingvar Carlson, last year's winner in a Mazda 323 four-wheel drive. Sending the first cars on their way. This is car number one, the Mazda 323. Spaniard Carlos Sainz, currently leading the World Drivers' Championship in a Toyota Celica four-wheel drive. Courtesy with you. Or expatriate Kiwi Rod Millen, now based in the United States, in another Mazda 323 four-wheel drive. The first stage leads the cars through the Auckland domain. Carlson's obviously trying hard to keep away from the Celica of Sainz. And Millen's determined not to be left behind. Then it's into the forest north of the city. Possum Bourne, who's to be the top resident Kiwi for most of the way, in a Subaru Turbo. And Ross Dunkerton, the Australian who puts up an outstanding performance in his Mitsubishi Galant. So at the end of the first leg, Sands has the lead of just one second over Carlson. And that's the closest the rally's been for years. Millen's 26 seconds back in third. Day two through the Maramurua Forest south of Auckland and an engine problem for Sainz. It costs him two minutes and two placings behind the Mazdas of Carlson and Millen. But they soon hear that Sainz has the problem repaired and he's hunting them. The pressure's on the Mazdas now. It's very slippery through the forest and it spells disaster for Kenyan Mike Kirkland and the Subaru. Coming round a corner, he trips and falls. Spectators try to get him going again, but it's to no avail, and the Subaru is out. He just went slightly uh, wide on it and sort of hit a bank there, I guess, and then well, we ended up right down here from starting off with a little problem. Ended up with a fairly major problem. And an even bigger problem for Wayne Pittams and Peter Garnett. Garnett, the co-driver, is taken to hospital. Fortunately, his injuries aren't serious. Then there's day three, traditionally the toughest of the rally mainly because it takes the cars through four stages of the Motu Gorge near Apotiki. Carlson is only 20 seconds over Sainz when he goes in. Sainz piles the pressure on and covers the stage 30 seconds quicker than Carlson. At the end of it, he has the lead, and Carlson concedes defeat. Sainz make a very good time, so he's now in front of us. Do you think you'll be able to pull him back? No, no. If he continues with this speed, we have no chance. Because we have been driving absolute on the limit up to now, and maybe we slow down a little bit more now. Carlos, we hear you're in front now. You must be very happy. Yeah, this stage was good for us. What's the plan from now on? Drive just as hard or are you going to slow back a bit? No, we have to continue. It's still many stages to go. Right? But there are no more stages to go for expatriate Kiwi Rod Millen. That white smoke shows that a turbocharger has blown. Millen gamefully struggles on, but in the end, he has to concede defeat. He 
He's got to stand by and watch German Urban Weber's VW Golf go past to take third. And it was almost curtains in the stage for Possum Bourne and co-driver Roger Freak. They lost first and second gears in a stage where these are the very gears you use. But his crew was able to change the box in 22 minutes. Possum, did it lose you much time when the gearbox went? Uh, about three minutes to the front car. Um, but, you know, that's not so bad because it went at the start of the stage. This is the tightest stage in the whole rally. I mean, it had to go there, didn't it? And, and it, the second gear broke, but um, because, of, I suppose, there's teeth flailing around in there, we couldn't get it into first either, so we had to drive the whole stage in third gear. Meanwhile, the field pressed on through the winding roads and the many fords. And another Kiwi was in trouble. Neil Allport was over a bank. We were a little bit wide going into the corner and it was a bit cambered off and there's a few big sort of really flat, clean rocks in the middle of the corner and we just, you know, just wouldn't come back. And there's no edge on the road and it's just nosed over the, over the bank. So that's the end of it for us. By today, Sainz was very much in command. He went off the road at one stage, but he had enough in hand for that not to make much difference. Anyway, Carlson seemed content with second. And Urban Weber had secured third. And Possum Bourne was the top Kiwi. But disaster for one competitor just a few stages from the finish. Australian Greg Carr had a camera in his Lancia Delta. Here's a cruise eye view of a crash in a rally. We probably only went over at 10 kilometres an hour. But of course, once we uh, got going down, it seemed to accelerate like crazy. It uh, was the fastest the car's gone all day. And so to the finish in Auckland tonight. A win for Sainz, who now takes a stranglehold on the Drivers' Championship. The Rothmans International is over for another year. <laughs>